Hey there, Space Cadets, and welcome back to another episode of the Outer Space Gamers. I'm your host, Joe Barkley, and right beside me is my faithful sidekick, Tim White. Say Tim. Hi, everyone. It's a pleasure to be back. What's on the agenda for today's episode, Octopus? Well, I thought we would do a game that just came to the new Nintendo Switch. Oh my god. Are you going to do Zelda? Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. It's like the best game ever created. Yes, I knew this game would be everything I always wanted. It's like Skyrim, but better. I'm triggered. Actually, I thought we would you know, do a different game called Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Say, is that the game that ruins friendships, relationships, and absolutely destroys any type of fun at parties? That's the one. I thought we could test our friendship to see if we had what it truly takes to have an eternal friendship. Octopus, I'm scared. Do you think we'll be able to make it? Not so sure, Gramps. Well, we'll have to find out. So, without further ado, let's switch on to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Boo, your puns suck. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is the latest installment in the Mario Kart franchise, and technically, it is Mario's first venture onto the newly released Nintendo Switch. Wait, hold on there a second, Octopus. Why does this game look so familiar? It's like I have seen this exact game somewhere before. Oh, where was that? Hmm. Oh yeah, Mario Kart 8 for the Wii U. Why would Nintendo remake a game they just made? It seems like they are trying to make me spend more money than necessary. Well, yes. Mario Kart 8 has previously been released on the Wii U, but remember how well the Wii U sold, Gramps? Hmm. Was the Wii U an add-on to the Wii? My point exactly. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is a re-release of the Wii U's iteration of Mario Kart. One of the reasons why Nintendo decided to make Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is because of the Wii U's terrible sales. The Nintendo Switch has been flying off the store shelves, and in just six months, has sold much better than its predecessor. Adding an available Mario Kart for the Switch early on was very smart. It almost seems like Nintendo learned from the past. It is still too early to tell, but they did make a smart choice on creating this game. Many people still remember the good old days of Mario Kart 64 with Balloon Battle and Double Dash with being able to choose two characters to race with, and Mario Kart Wii with the amazing Wii motion controls. Can Mario Kart 8 Deluxe be able to resonate memories as these games do. Well, that is why we are here. The only memories I have are being dead last the entire time getting a lightning bolt and flying off the stage on Rainbow Road. By the end of the night, friendships had disintegrated. Sounds harsh, but those are the memories that keep us playing the game in the hopes of being the best. I guess you are right, but honestly, Octopus, why should I buy this if I had already gotten the game on the Wii U? I need hard facts, man. Alright, you want hard facts? Here's what I'll do. We'll move on to the gameplay section, and I will compare the new edition to the old edition. Hmm. See if you can change my mind. I like that. I've been known to be as stubborn as a mule. You realize that means something else, right? Octopus! I thought we were really friends! Hey man, I said this video was going to test our friendship. I warned you at the beginning of the video, and this is only the beginning of the video, so relax. You're right. Our future is at stake. I will try not to hit you with too many red shells. Good, because that would definitely be the end. Everything gameplay-wise was taken from Mario Kart 8 and plopped onto the Switch, but this game has some major changes that made me want to play the entire game over and over again. One of these changes is noticeable right away. In the original version, the player is required to unlock all the cups in a certain order on every single CC. This also carried over to the multiplayer modes as well. If you hadn't unlocked that cup, it would be unplayable. In Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, everything is unlocked from the get-go. And even though it was a small change, it makes playing it easier, especially with friends. Whoa, is that Link? Wait, and that is an Inkling. What are they doing here? Am I going crazy? Ah, Gramps, it seems you have found another change in the game which is the character roster. Deluxe brings new characters to be playable, and it includes all the DLC that was created for the Wii U. The new characters that the DLC introduced are Link, Villager, Isabel, Tanuki Mario, Dry Bowser, and Cat Peach. Deluxe adds onto the roster and introduces the Inklings from Splatoon as two playable characters, as well as bringing back some fan favorites such as Dry Bones, King Boo, and Bowser Jr. So in total, that is, um, 10 characters? 
on top of an already existing character roster? So many character choices. That's right, Gramps. Deluxe offers a fast character selection, but I found that I play primarily with my personal favorite character, Daisy. Yes, she is my favorite character. Don't judge me, just get over it. The DLC that was put out for the Wii U included four new circuits, the A Cup, the Crossing Cup, the Triforce Cup, and the Bell Cup. All of the 16 new tracks that were introduced was added into Deluxe free of charge. It's pretty nice they added all the DLC free of cost. I'm practically sold. I agree, Big Timmy. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe has a grand total of 48 courses to choose from, making this the biggest Mario Kart known to date. Now, let's talk about visuals of the game. This game looks beautiful. In my opinion, the game looks so much better on the Switch than the Wii U. It runs on 1080p with 60 frames per second while docked. The Wii U suffered from a frame rate problem and only ran on a strange 59 frames per second. Once I noticed it, it really bothered me. Luckily, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe fixes this problem and I can race smoothly and peacefully without any hiccups. There are not many new mechanics that were added to the actual racing. You can still fly, go underwater, and use anti-gravity. However, there is one new mechanic and that is the Purple Spark Drift. The Purple Sparks is a super mini turbo boost that comes after the blue and yellow sparks. It takes a while to get a hang of it, but once you do, you can fly through a course. There are even small details on the track that makes playing the game better. For instance, the Goombas that try to stand in your way look at you as you drive by them, and as you pass the cows in Moomoo Meadows, you can hear the cowbells clank. Not to mention the soundtrack of the game is very well done, and it has some very memorable tunes. There are many more little improvements that Nintendo made to the game that had me smiling as I won first place over and over again. Damn it, Octopus! Stop beating me so much! I hate losing! I hate losing! I hate you! Gramps, I'm so shocked. Honestly, I, I cannot stand the stage I keep falling off. Well, there is another new feature that can help novice players like yourself. The new feature called Smart Steering can be turned on and off before and during a race. With Smart Steering on, you cannot, I repeat, cannot fall off the stage, drive into the grass, or hit walls. However, with Smart Steering on, players won't be able to get the cool stylish purple sparks. There is also an auto accelerate option. These are definitely a good addition for those who have trouble starting out. It is quite neat watching the game drive itself. Sorry, Octopus, but racing isn't really for me. Is there any other mode besides racing? As a matter of fact, there is. One of the big additions of the game is the new and improved battle mode. The original Mario Kart 8 had a mediocre battle mode that was vastly different from the previous titles. There were eight different race tracks instead of battle tracks, and the only battle mode that you could choose from was Balloon Battle. This was not well received by the gaming community, and luckily the problem was heard by Nintendo, and they completely reworked it in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. The battle mode consists of five different battle options. Returning to the scene is Balloon Battle, Shine Thief, Coin Runners, and Bomb on Blast. There is also a new addition to the mix, which plays off like Cops and Robbers, called Renegade Roundup. On top of that, we no longer have to race on the regular tracks anymore because there are eight new battle tracks designed specifically for battle mode. Isn't this a nice change of pace, Gramps? This mode is totally chaotic and it's literally a blast. It seems to me that this is a fully fleshed out Mario Kart title. But the big question, Octopus, is how well does the online functionality? The online functions are pretty solid for people with good internet. My time with online has been very little, since my internet settings here are pretty bad. However, from what I have seen from other people, it is very solid with little slowdowns. Online offers players to compete in racing and or battle mode. You can even set up your own tournaments and compete with many people across the world. Players are ranked with something called VR. When you win, your VR goes up, and when you lose, you drop VR. So if you're tired of single player, online is the way to go. While we are still talking about wireless type playing, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe includes a feature that takes advantage of the Switch's unique functionality. Hmm, let me guess, it has a wireless connection feature that allows up to 8 people to connect in the same room together? Sort of like Mario Kart DS. Hey, how did you know that? Because the script said so. No fourth wall breaking, please, you aren't Deadpool. Say the magic words, Fat Gandalf. That's enough, Gramps. We've talked a lot about all the great things the game has to offer. It is time once again to start ranting like imbeciles. Are you ready, Gramps? Welcome back, Space Cadets, to the trigger. Gramps, put up the trigger count again, because I have quite a few bones I have to pick with this game. All right, Octopus, the counter is up. Ready whenever you are. One of the new features of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe was the return of the double item box. Hitting this box gives the player two items instead of one. Grabbing the boxes in first place will always grant you a protection item 
and a coin, but that does so little in the scheme of things because double the items means double the amount of times you can get hit. There have been numerous amount of times that I have found myself chain hit to where I am stopped in my place for a good 5 seconds or more. Also, the amount of blue shells have gone up significantly and in my experience with the game on average I can get hit 3 to 5 times per race. As much as I enjoy the return of being able to hold 2 items, I hate getting bombarded with the triple red shell bomb bomb lightning blue shell combo. It seems to be a double edged sword. Precisely. While we are still talking about the items in the game, three of the items trigger me and two of them were just added as new features. These items are the Boo, the Feather, and the Infamous Coin. The Boo has been in most of the games in the franchise, so I kindly welcomed it back. The Feather too, however, I quickly learned that their presence was quickly notable. The Boo is the most trolly item ever created. What it does is that when an opponent uses it, they become invisible, while the Boo goes and takes whatever item you are holding, and takes it back to its master. There have been many times where I have had a speaker item to destroy an upcoming blue shell and a boo snatches it and I get hit by the blue shell lightning green shell banana combo. The feather is the complete opposite in my eyes where I like this item. The feather returns from the first installment of the Mario Kart franchise and it allows players to jump over obstacles and items. I think it is a cool item, however I am triggered because it is only available in battle mode. Like really Nintendo, just add it to racing, I would surely use it to do shortcuts and hop over shells and bananas. Ha! I finally got it first. I'm finally beating you, Octopus. Now all I need is the perfect defensive item. Let's see here. What item did I just get? Huh? A coin? What does it do? Don't get too cocky, Gramps. You just got the worst item in the game. The coin does absolutely nothing. Players can carry up to 10 coins. That makes your overall speed faster. But the real problem with coins is they are already lying on the track. You can collect them without even getting them in an item box. Players in first place have a 99% chance of getting a coin in a single item block, giving them no protection. Aw oh crap, I just got hit by the double lightning, green shell, fire flower, red shell, blue shell combo. Now I'm in 11th place, all because of a coin. I'm triggered. Basically, Gramps, happens flawlessly every time. At least you didn't get hit by a bullet bill after. Don't worry, just did. Oops, spoke too soon. Well, one more item related trigger moment. The fact that the Boo and the Feather were added back into the game was awesome, but those items were never really popular in my eyes. Where are the fake mystery boxes? That was a very popular item, but alas, they have not returned to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and it's definitely a missed opportunity in my eyes. There are so many items in this game, I can't even keep my eyes off the track for even a second. The last thing that really triggered me was the non-inclusion of characters. Wait, so you are ungrateful of the characters they added? Why are you so cold-hearted, Octopus? No, no, that's not what I meant. I love the character roster of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. It is the biggest roster the Mario Kart franchise has ever seen, and I praise it for that. But it has taken out some of my favorite characters such as Petey Piranha, Diddy Kong, and Funky Kong, Birdo, and Wiggler, and have replaced them with characters like Pink Gold Peach, Metal Mario, Cat Peach, Tanuki Mario, and all the baby characters. Hmm. You are right, it would be easy to add those characters. Maybe I should hit the developers with the Fire Flower, Boomerang, Banana, Green Shell combo. No, please, don't do that. We might never see another Mario Kart game again. I'll stop you with this triple blue shell, triple red shell, triple banana, bomb bomb attack. Alright, enough with the complaints. Let's talk about unlockables. Oh, I love unlockables. They make me feel accomplished about myself when life is getting me down. Well, Gramps, you might be slightly disappointed because the game doesn't have very many unlockables. Deluxe comes with all the courses, CCs, and characters is already unlocked. However, the player is required to unlock many of the cars, bikes, ATVs, wheels, and gliders in the game. Those must be pretty easy to unlock. All you have to do is win, right? Not quite. Remember those coins you get? Yeah, what about them? The game keeps track of all the coins you collect overall, and after you collect enough, you unlock a vehicle part. This definitely takes more time than necessary, but I don't mind at all since I love this game. Hmm, <laughs> you can say that again. Another mode you can play is time trial mode. In this mode, players can race for the fastest time out there and journey to be the very best in the Mario Kart world. So I heard if you do all the time trials, there's a secret that is unlocked? You are right again, Gramps. Beating all the staff ghosts on all the courses grants you a set of golden tires. Similarly, if you get at least a star on all the cups in mirror mode, you unlock the gold kart frame. And if you get a star on each cup in 200cc, you unlock the hidden character, Gold Mario. You almost forgot about the gold glider that you can unlock by getting 5,000 coins, Octopus. Again, you are right. How did you know? 
Well, I read the script. You never cease to amaze me. But the good news is, our friendship has survived this review. Mario usually takes its toll on friendships around the world. Honestly, I just let the smart steering and auto acceleration do the trick. You mean you were never playing the whole time? You got that right. You didn't want the channel to end, Octopus. But enough chit chat and sappy feelings about each other. Let's give this game a rating. You are right. Let's switch back to the office. Boo! Your puns still suck! Overall, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is a really good game for the Nintendo Switch. It does much better than the Wii U version, with its minor improvements like the Purple Sparks, but there is some weird wacky item balance with the double boxes. Overall, I can say that I really love this game, and I highly recommend it to any Switch owner. Well, that's all the time we have for today, isn't that right, Gramps? That is right, Octopus. Thank you all so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more good content coming from me, Tim, and our other partner, which he hasn't shown up yet, but he'll be coming soon. Also, be sure to check out us on, on social media pages on Facebook and Twitter at The Outer Space Gamers, as well as some of our past reviews and discussions about video games and movies alike. Alright, that's all the time we have for today. Over and out, Space Kids. See you in the next one.